On the surface of the pineal gland are tiny hairs called cilia, Latin for eyelashes. The action of the accelerated fluid moving faster than normal through the chambers of the ventricular system tickles the tiny hairs, which overstimulates the pineal gland. Because the pineal gland is shaped like a phallus, the stimulation produced by the acceleration of fluid moving past it, combined with the electrical activation created by an increase in intrathecal pressure in a closed system, causes the gland to ejaculate some very profound, upgraded metabolites of melatonin into the brain. The tiny cilia of the pineal gland become stimulated as the cerebrospinal fluid accelerates through the ventricular system. 3. Energy is delivered directly to the brain. Much like sending a rocket ship into space, overcoming gravity to get it off the ground is the part that requires the most energy, so to move that energy from our lower centers demands a great deal of intensity and effort. As you know by now, every time you perform the breath, you send charged particles up the spinal column. As these particles increase in velocity and acceleration, they create what's known as an inductance field. This inductance field reverses the flow of two-way information that typically facilitates communication from the brain to the body and the body to the brain. Much like a vacuum, the inductance field draws the energy from those lower centers, energy involved with orgasm, consumption, digestion, fight-or-flight stress, and control, and delivers it directly to the brain stem in a spiraling motion. As the energy travels up through each vertebra, it passes the nerves that run from the spinal cord to different parts of the body, and some of that energy is then transferred through the peripheral nerves that affect the tissues and organs of the body. The current that runs along these nerve channels activates the body's meridian system, resulting in all the other systems of the body getting more energy. As energy is released from the body to the brain, it passes by each spinal nerve, exiting between each vertebra. The excitation of this system further switches on the peripheral nerves, which then transfer more energy to different tissues and organs in the body. As a result, more energy is delivered throughout the body. Once the energy reaches the brain stem, it must pass through the reticular formation. It's the job of the reticular formation to constantly edit information going from the brain to the body, as well as from the body to the brain. This formation is part of a system called the reticular activating system, which is responsible for levels of wakefulness. For instance, when you wake up from a deep sleep because you hear a sound in your house, it's the ROS that alerts you and arouses you. That's its rudimentary function. However, as the sympathetic nervous system is activated and merges with the parasympathetic nervous system, instead of depleting the body's stored energy, it releases that energy back to the brain. Once this energy reaches the brain stem, the thalamic gate opens like a door and energy moves through the reticular formation to the thalamus, where it relays information to the neocortex. Now the reticular formation is open, and you experience greater levels of awareness. In a sense, you become more conscious and awakened. Think of the thalamus as a big train station with tracks leading to the higher centers of the brain. That's how the brain goes into gamma brain wave patterns. Right between each thalamus located in the midbrain sits the tiny pinecone-shaped pineal gland, facing the back of the brain. As a side note, there are two individual thalami in the midbrain, one on each side, which feed each hemisphere in the neocortex. The pineal gland sits right between them facing the back of the brain. When the energy reaches each thalamic junction, remember the thalamus is like a relay station to all other parts of the brain. These thalami send a message directly to the pineal gland to secrete its metabolites into the brain. The effect is that the thinking neocortex becomes aroused and goes into higher brain wave patterns, like gamma. The nature of those chemical derivatives of melatonin relaxes the body, and at the same time awakens the mind. When energy moves from the body to the brain, a torus field is created around the body. When the pineal gland becomes activated, a reverse torus field of electromagnetic energy moving in the opposite direction draws energy through the top of the head, into the body, from the unified field. Since energy is frequency, and frequency carries information, the pineal gland transduces that information into vivid imagery. When your pineal gland is awakened, because it is picking up higher frequencies, these higher energies alter the chemistry of melatonin. The higher the frequency, the greater the alteration. It's this translation of information into chemistry that primes you for those transcendental, mystical moments. This is why I like to call the pineal gland an alchemist, because it transmutes melatonin into some very profound, radical neurotransmitters. As higher frequencies and higher states of consciousness interact with the pineal gland, one of the first things to happen is that these frequencies transmute melatonin into chemicals called benzodiazepines. 
Benzodiazepines are a class of drugs from which Valium is created that anesthetize the analytical mind, so all of a sudden the thinking brain relaxes and stops analyzing. According to functional brain scans, benzodiazepines suppress neural activity in the amygdala, the brain's survival center. This limits chemicals that cause you to feel fear, anger, agitation, aggression, sadness, or pain. Now your body feels calm and relaxed, but your mind is awakened. Another chemical created from melatonin produces a class of very powerful antioxidants called pinolines. Pinolines are important because they attack free radicals, which harm your cells and cause aging. These antioxidants are anti-cancer, anti-aging, anti-heart disease, anti-stroke, anti-neurodegenerative, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial. That's a perfect formula to upgrade melatonin's normal role as an antioxidant to the role of a supercharged antioxidant that further restores and heals the body to a greater degree than the melatonin molecule normally does. If you take that molecule and tweak it again into a cousin of melatonin, you find the same chemical that makes animals hibernate. When melatonin, which makes us sleepy and dreamy, alters just slightly into this more powerful molecule, it carries a message to extend rest and repair even further. Because the body is no longer the mind, we temporarily lose our interest in the outer world, and because we have no biological drives and aren't distracted with bodily needs, we're able to move more fully into the present moment and go deeply within. If you take that molecule and advance it yet again, you produce the same chemical found in electric eels, a phosphorescent, bioluminescent chemical that amplifies energy in the nervous system. This chemical can be powerful enough to cause a significant shock. Just imagine an electric eel that literally lights up with energy when it gets stimulated. That's what happens in the brain when it gets activated. Not only does this phosphorescent, bioluminescent chemical increase the energy in the brain, but it enhances the imagery the mind internally perceives so that everything looks as though it's made of vivid, surreal, luminescent light. As a result, people have reported experiencing colors they've never seen before, because they exist outside their known experience of the visible light spectrum. These colors appear as profound, otherworldly glowing lights in a technicolor, lucid, opalescent world of suspended beauty. Everything appears as if it's emitting beautiful light made of vivid, radiant energy that you can feel. Alter melatonin one more time and you produce the chemical dimethyltryptamine, one of the most powerful hallucinogenic substances known to man. When ayahuasca or other plant chemicals containing this molecule are ingested, the body receives only DMT, but when the pineal gland is activated, it receives the whole blend of aforementioned chemicals, and this causes some very profound inner experiences. Some of these experiences have been reported to create profound time dilation, where time appears infinite. Time travel, journeys to paranormal realms, visions of complex geometric patterns, encounters with spiritual beings, and other mystical interdimensional realities. Now, because the pineal gland is activated, we can pick up higher frequencies, which in turn produces a change in chemistry. The higher the frequency we pick up, the more it alters our chemistry, which means the more visual, hallucinogenic, and higher energy experiences we have. The crystals in our pineal gland, acting like a cosmic antenna, are the doorway to these higher vibrational realms of light and information.